freedom wherever there's trouble. G.I. Joe is there. G.I. Joe. International heroes. G.I. Joe is there. G.I. Joe against the ruthless enemy, fighting to save the day. They never give up. They're always there, fighting for freedom over land and air. G.I. Joe. International heroes. G.I. Joe is there. G.I. Joe is the code name for an international, highly trained special mission force. Its purpose, to defend human freedom against a ruthless terrorist organization determined to rule the world. They never give up. They'll stay till the fight's won. G.I. Joe will dare. G.I. Joe. International heroes. G.I. Joe. We're not dealing with Niagara Falls, but this generator ought to put on enough power so your kids will never strain their eyes reading school books ever again. Ah! Whoa! Let me help you with that. You grab your reading material, little girl. We're ready for a test run. And you better fire up your camera, Scoop, if you want to make the evening news. Only friends call me Scoop. Now get out of my face, because I've got a job to do. This is Leonard Michaels for United News. Today, in a primitive village in the Himalayas, G.I. Joe is trying to make itself look good by interfering in the lives of innocent civilians at the U.S. taxpayer's expense. Geez, that reporter makes helping a child read sound like a federal crime. Maybe he doesn't know too much about G.I. Joe. Okay, we're ready to go. So cross your fingers and let there be light. While G.I. Joe fiddles with Tinker Toy Electronics, Cobra prepares to conquer the civilized world. Did you hear that, Cobra Commander? Luckily, now that you're a snake, you will be unable to bungle this operation the way you nearly ruined Cobra when you were a man. But look on the bright side. It's time for your lunch. Amazing to think that slithering incompetent once led Cobra. Good eye, blokes. By the way, Serpy, the raiding party's revved up and uh, ready to strike. Uh, uh. My name is Serpentor, not Serpy, and I am not a bloke. Hey! Uh, uh. And from now on, you will bow before your leader, you mercenary <laughs> dreadnought scum. Remember, the reason for our attack is to trick the monks of this monastery into defending themselves with their secret weapon. And once we have learned the secret and captured this weapon for Cobra? Once we are victorious, the monastery's sacred golden statue will be yours, as agreed. Oh, Destro, darling! You remembered how I'd like antique art! Don't overexcite yourself, Baroness. The statue isn't for you at all. It's for me. Destro, you are dumping me in favor of Zabana? Time marches on, sweetie, and Distro got tired of seeing its footprints on your sagging face. Baroness, I hope we can still remain friends. Ha! Nagahide, we... we must leave to prepare for battle. There is something in this room that stinks. And you got him, right by the hand. Serpentor! I've discovered that the monks use special sound vibrations to activate what they call dragon fire from deep within the earth. So, the sooner the monks start chanting, the sooner I can record the activating vibrations. And the sooner the dragon fire weapon will be ours. In that case, we will give the monks an opportunity to defend themselves immediately. Cobra forces, attack! Cobra fiends are attacking the lower compound, but they are too far away for us to help our brother monks. But Rinpoche, 
What good is the dragon fire weapon if we cannot use it to defend our own? The ancient texts are almost impossible to understand. My teacher taught me how to protect this sacred statue, but I dare do no more. This ain't no fun no how! Blowing up empty buildings and no one to fight back! You're right, Nogahide. But if Cobra Commander were human once again, he would see that we had better things to do. Daddy would, my lady. Daddy would. Just catch your breath, pal. I got the message. That message won't be a snake o -gram, would it? You got it, Sarge. Up the hill, a whole slithering mess of them, attacking a defenseless monastery. Slaughter's Marauders, let's roll! Yo, Joe! Yo! Hey, rock and roll! Wait for me! Ah! Guardsmen, we have reduced the lower monastery to ruins, and still no sign of the fabled dragon fire weapon. Destro, I am sure the weapon exists. But it seems that the monks will only use it to defend their sacred statue. Then it is the statue we shall attack. Not if I've got anything to say about it, bang, face. Yo, yo! Cobra forces, stop them! Cobra's fangs! This is more like it! <laughs> oh! Rock and roll! Ah. I'm okay, kid! Just take the wheel! Ah. Ah. I don't know where you learned to drive, but keep up the good work! Ah. More than one can play at this game. <laughs> now that we have slaughtered Sergeant Slaughter, we shall attack the monastery's heart. This I command! Barbecue! Do something about those flames. The Sarge is in there. Rock and roll, I'm bailing out, so it's your turn to drive. Michaels, no! Wait for Barbecue to chill out those flames! If I wait, I might miss the evening news. Saving my life, Michaels. You're welcome, Sarge. But I think my footage got a little overexposed. Not to mention your clothes. If you feel like changing out of those smoking civvies into something more stylish. Like, say, a G.I. Joe uniform? You mean it? Michaels, when I see someone who's got the right stuff, I'll sign them up. Right on the spot. In that case, let's dump this Michaels business. Like I said, my friends call me Scoop. All right. Happy to have you aboard. Yo, Joe! <laughs> Way to go, kid. 
Now let's go skewer some snakes. Prepare to fire! Serpento, remember, we don't actually want to destroy the monastery. Give the monks time to raise their dragonfire weapon first. If in fact there is such a weapon. If in fact your agent has not been making fools of us. Rinpoche, the, uh, fiends are attacking the central monastery. It is time to activate the dragonfire. Chant as you have been taught. I will do the rest. Dragon fire, coiled inside the mountain's heart. We beg you answer our call. May our vibrations of desperate need cause you to rise. Rise! Rise! And for death our sacred statue from all harm. All right. Looks like Cobra just met its match. A Himalayan trick! Fire! My Crimson Guardsman was right. The dragon fire energy is a reality. This dragon fire has possibilities indeed. Hmm. Cobra, retreat! <laughs> Looks like that Himalayan dragon just stomped its first snake. Yo, show! Amazing uh, defensive weapon you've got here, Rinpoche. The secret of dragon fire was handed down to us by our ancestors. Its force lies deep within the earth. Here, inside this mountain, and elsewhere. Forget defense. That fire can make an offensive weapon you wouldn't believe. The ancients may have known how. But that secret is beyond the knowledge of anyone living today. If it's okay with you, Sarge, I'm going to cruise around and get some more footage of the monastery. <laughs> you can put a new sound in uniform, but you can't change his tricks. Just don't make a pest out of yourself. Yes, sir. So what do you think, guys? I'd say we got ourselves a top flight new G.I. Joe. I'm not so sure. There's something about that scoop I just don't trust. <laughs> Sorry, Llama, but you gave me a start. It's nothing compared to what you're gonna get. What? Well, wait a minute. It's not my old buddy from the Cobra Academy, is it? None other than. It's good to see you, Scoop. And it's good to get back into a Cobra uniform as well. Yeah, but what a great disguise. I had no idea. Well, your disguise beats mine to lizard me. 
Leonard Michaels, top-ranking Crimson Guardsman, a G.I. Joe. You know what the recruiters say. Join Cobra and see the world. back door into the monastery. All right, you've got the recording of the sounds that activate the Dragonfire? Yeah, right here on my compact disc. Good, then point this at me. And focus. Serpentor, the secret entrance into the monastery is open and G.I. Joe suspects nothing. All you have to do is attack and the secret of Dragonfire will be ours. Why, thank you, Leonard Michaels, Captain of the Crimson Guard. My commendation, Snakeling. You and your comrade have done well. But your greatest use to Cobra is yet to come. To gain revenge on the murdering fiends of G.I. Joe, I will do whatever you command. Fanatical devotion is always music to my ears. That particular guardsman joined Cobra shortly after he was told that G.I. Joe had destroyed his family home. Did they? Of course not. We did. Only an accident, of course. Of course. Rock and roll, you hear something? Sounds like footsteps. Must have been me. I don't think so. Cobra! Let's get him, boys! Oh, no! Not the Rinpoche! I feel like I'm stuck in Cobra's shooting gallery! Rocks and rolls right! Out the windows! It's time for a strategic retreat! Night Vipers, assemble the computer synthesizer immediately! And do take care not to jostle Cobra Commander. Destro, as I was showing Serpentor, this map shows other locations of underground lakes of Dragonfire energy. And these ancient symbols describe how to use it as an offensive weapon. Unfortunately, no one's been able to understand them for the last 500 years. Hmm. Where humans have failed, perhaps my computer can succeed. <laughs> what do you think, Commander? Aren't you pleased that Cobra is about to gain the power of the dragon? Excuse me, Serpento, but it looks like the Commander's gone. He must have seen a king-sized cockroach that excited his fancy. Yes, but when he runs out of bugs to eat, he'll come slithering back fast enough. Quiet, Commander. You're being rescued. And that Serpento, he'll be hissing out the other side of his mouth before we're through. And once we've transformed you back to a human being, this throwing Serpentor will wish they'd never been born. What now, Sarge? Regroup and counterattack? Please, no! More fighting will destroy our monastery! On the other hand, if Cobra learns to use your dragon fire, they'll be in a position to destroy a whole lot more! Impossible! Without the vibrations of our chanting, Cobra will be unable to raise the dragon fire. And without the ancient knowledge that lies beyond even our understanding, they will never be able to use this power against any living creature, man or beast.
guessed wrong. I pray that Cobra can raise the Dragonfire no higher. According to the ancient knowledge deciphered by my computer, these added sound frequencies should change the defensive Dragonfire force field into an awesome offensive weapon of irresistible power! If they are not stopped, they'll be an odds on favorite to conquer the world. Men, we've got our work cut out for us. That we do, Sarge. That we do. Operation Dragonfire will continue, so be sure to report for part two next time on this station. And that's an order. Here's a taste of the action on the next episode of G.I. Joe. Operation Dragonfire! Last time, Cobra discovered the secret of Dragonfire, a natural force that Cobra is using to create the most powerful weapon in the world. Scoop became a G.I. Joe by saving Sergeant Slaughter's life. But what the Joes don't know is that Scoop is really a Cobra spy. And now, stay tuned for today's episode of Operation Dragonfire. Lady J, Stalker and I are over southern France, approaching the Macedon cave area. Be careful, Lowlight. Cobra's protecting the Dragonfire deposits beneath the cave with everything they've got. The Cobra vehicles have a device that lets them pass through, but so far their Dragonfire shield is stopping our artillery dead. It's like butting our heads against a brick wall. Lucky that new guy videoed Cobra's map, or we wouldn't even know where to go for the free headache. I've met this guy, Scoop, and he's down in my briefing book as a grade-A flake. Thanks for the endorsement, Low Light. But smile when you say that. Because you're on TV. You know, I take it back. Flake doesn't even begin to describe this bozo. Work it out later, Low Light. It's time to pay our respects to Cobra and see if that dragon fire is as tough as it's cracked up to be. Be careful, guys. We need you here in one piece. Well, did you get it, Destro? Yes. Your transmission has been received. The Mud Fighter is a most sophisticated aircraft, and your data will help us immeasurably. Which makes up for your mistake of videotaping the map that led G.I. Joe to this location. Sorry, I got carried away, but I've got some great top secret footage from my stay at G.I. Joe headquarters. Excellent, but transmitting more data may be risky. Hey, Scoop! Hey, I thought you were still in the Crimson Guard. Uh-uh. Right after we captured the Tibetan Dragonfire base, I transferred. See? I'm an alley fighter now. But I'm still your contact. Can you get the data to me on the ground? I'll find a way. Gotta go now, or the Joes will get suspicious. Loyal forces of Cobra! The dragon fire energy we have discovered and released to date is enough to protect this small section of our underground complex. But we need to discover much, much more. According to our research, the Stone Age hunters who lived here were sensitive to the power. And paintings like this, of the Sorcerer of the Caves, mark locations where dragon fire is to be found. Copperhead! You and your squadron will remain here in command of Dragonfire Base 1. All others will take portable equipment to discover and establish as many additional bases as necessary until we tap into the main lake of Dragonfire. An 
complete this phase of our master plan to destroy G.I. Joe. Well, guys, we can't go in the front door because it's protected by the force field. But Stalker found what just might be a back way in. Well, what are we waiting for? Not a thing. Low light scoop, let's go. Reptile Ralston time! Yo, Joe! That guy is awesome! Correction, kid. That man is a G.I. Joe. And if you're real lucky, someday you may find out what that really means. Don't let Low Light get to you. The main thing is to find Cobra's headquarters somewhere in these caverns and shut it down. So record as much of our mission as you can. And good luck hunting those snakes. Thanks, Lady J. Too bad I can't wish you the same. The picture of the sorcerer is not here, which means we will have to look elsewhere for the dragon fire. Cobra forces, deploy immediately! Alley Viper on the left. And Snakelings on the right. I think it's time to roll on out of here. You can't keep me out, G.I. Joe. Whoa! You got that one right, Viper. But now that you're in, I hope you can swim. G.I. Joe, you'll pay for this! Are you sure you hid Cobra Commander in this part of the caverns? There's my mark. The Commander and my DNA converter are straight ahead. Huh. I know that Destro and I are no longer a couple, but aren't you being a little forward, Nogahide? Shh! There he is. Our beloved Cobra Commander. Unfortunately, there is no change. I fear my DNA converter is not powerful enough to undo the mutation that changed him from man to snake. Baroness, look here. Isn't this one of those paintings Ali Viper said was the indicator for Dragonfire? Indeed. And the antlers on this headdress are... Crystal resonators! Then, not only did Stone Age Man know of the power of dragon fire, he knew how to use it! What he didn't have was Cobra technology to lend him a helping hand. Do you suppose we should report this to Uncle Destro? Oh, Naga, my darling. Let's spoil our fun. Especially when this cavern's previous occupants used their dragon fire to transform animals into humans. A fact which may be of interest to an animal friend of our own. Wow, incredible. Kind of makes me wish I was just a tourist and not a cobra spy. Hey, Alley Viper, it's you. You've got to stop sneaking up on me like this. It's my job. Phew, now that's what I call a strong smell. Bingo! Commander, I feel the sound frequencies unlocking the power of the dragon fire buried deep within the earth. I feel its energy magnified by the crystal resonators. I feel it entering my body. My DNA regenerator did not have the power to return you to human form. But now, like the ancient scientist in the painting, I do! I was once a man! And that's
That's where we're keeping it, Fang Face, in the past tense. Afraid not, G.I. Joey. Drop it right there. Naga hide. I knew I smelled something rotten. What rock did you slither out from? Well, you see, Joey, you ain't the only one what can sniff out his prey. And the only thing that smells worse than a live G.I. Joe is a Joey after he's been hung out to dry. In a Cobra Jail. All right, Lowlight, we're gonna take it slow and easy so as not to interfere with our biology experiment. It's working, Commander! The dragon fire is working! <laughs> Baroness! Forget the Baroness! I, Cobra Commander, have returned! Oh no! Not him again! Oh. I don't want to believe it. Cobra Commander back on two legs? We'll have to deal with him later. But right now, we have a dragon fire weapon to destroy. Just follow me. At last! The marker for the main deposit of dragon fire. Set up the computer synthesizers and sound resonators immediately. Televiper, patch me into the dragon fire base in Tibet. Serpentor, I am pleased to announce that success is ours. Once we have activated the primary Dragonfire Reservoir here, we will be ready to link our power with yours, and G.I. Joe will be one step closer to total defeat. You found the right place, but how are we going to get Cobra Badges to get us through the forest field? I think our passport's just arrived. Whoa! Footloose, low light here. Lady J and I are getting ready to take out that Dragonfire force field. And the minute it goes down, you guys hit Cobra with everything you got. Yo, Joe! Now! Let's do it. Yo, show! Uh. I'll shoot for the resonators. You take the computer console. Uh. <laughs> Did you hear something? Nope. Getting kind of jumpy for a Cobra undercover agent, aren't you, Scoop? You try infiltrating G.I. Joe sometime and see how you like it. And when I remember how I felt when Destro told me G.I. Joe destroyed my parents' home, I get so mad, huh? I'm ready to do whatever Cobra commands. If this information is as good as you say, Destro will be very pleased. Looks like Scoop's in big trouble. Hold on, Scoop. I'm coming! Footloose, the Dragonfire Force Field is history. Let's capture him once and for all. Yo The Joes have destroyed our Dragonfire Command Center? Well, let them enjoy their little victory, because they are about to receive a great surprise. No! no. Hang on, Scoop! I'm on my way! Not if I can help it! Stop it! Hang on, kid! No! Scoop, head for the kayak! Dead! 
Destro must have located the primary deposit of dragon fire. The Splitloose says the new force feels twice as strong as the old one. Serpentor, prepare to link your Tibetan base with the dragon fire base in the cave of the Mastodons. My calculations were correct. The multiplied power of the dragon fire is mine! You blithering nitwits! Have you restored me to something approaching a man? Only to have me drowned or squished? Whoa! Whoa. Scoop! Get to the kayak! It's our only chance! <laughs> I'm doing my best! <laughs> Sorry, Stalker, but your last chance just expired! I I've got the kayak. Great. <laughs> now paddle it over here. Ooh. Yeah, do that. I'll need some way to get out of here after I finish with this big drag of GI Joe. Don't hurt him. <laughs> ah. oh. 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 Stalker. Is he okay? Yeah, just knocked himself out. Probably for his own good, too. Because this one would rather drown than let me help him. Of course he would. That's the Cobra Code. Well, it ain't the code G.I. Joe lives by. A life's a life, and every single one is worth saving, even if it does belong to this sorry spectacle of an alley viper. I don't care if everything is underwater, Night Viper. As long as the dragon fire weapon is working, Cobra has won the Battle of the Caves, as we shall soon win the battle to rule the world. Mutt, if you're outside the range of the force field, blow a hole in this mountain and let some water out. <coughs> or everyone in here is gonna have to grow gills and learn to swim like a fish. G.I. Joe scum. But he saved your life. Well, then he's a fool and he deserves what he gets. <gasps> Scoop! Look lively! Cause we're on the move! <laughs> if you won't do it, then I will! No! Alley Viper! Get down! <gasps> oh. 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 Here! Grab this, quick! Ah! Alley Viper! You tried, kid. But I'll tell you from experience, those Alley Vipers are as tough as they are ugly. And I can guarantee that particular Viper is gonna be back to make both our lives miserable and a lot sooner than I want to think. Cause we're about to hit the fall! The Nice paddling, kid. It's a pleasure to have you on the team. Thanks, Stalker. 
Hey, you know that alley viper you saved? Yeah. You think that if he quit Cobra, he could turn out to be an okay guy? You never know. He might even turn up someday as a G.I. Joe. Dream on, stalker. Once a Cobra, always a low-down, dirty snake. What do you mean you don't have any of my old uniforms? Am I supposed to address my forces dressed only in my skulls? Your uniforms were made in the Halloween costumes and given away, Commander. Yeah, Sir Pentor said to get rid of them because snakes don't usually wear clothes. Yeah, but we can get them back, Commander. No worries. And please, take my seat. Make yourself at home. <sighs> Much better. They may not be entirely human, and yet... Destro and Serpentor would do well to beware. Ooh. Beware of a scaly flycatcher? I thought we were getting a real leader. <gasps> huh? I'm the Cobra's fans, Narcahide. You had all best beware. And as for G.I. Joe, well, we may shiver and shake at the news that... Cobra Commander is reborn! Operation Dragonfire will continue, so be sure to tune in next time on this same station. This is Lady J, reminding you not to miss the exciting action of the next episode, Operation Dragonfire. Cobra has discovered an immense new power called Dragonfire. There are only four sources of Dragonfire in the world, and Cobra now controls two of them. Scoop, an undercover agent for Cobra, continues to spy on G.I. Joe, while Cobra Commander is making a surprise return to power. Now, our story continues. Great carvings. These South American Indians really knew their stuff. Huh? I wonder what happened here. Hey! Hey, watch where you're going. Cobra, Alley Viper. This is Undercover Joe. Undercover Joe, calling Alley Viper. Come in. Gotcha, but there's static on the line. Anything to transmit? Can't understand you. Too much static. I'm sending what I've got, but I have to work fast before the others show up. Scoop, what's your location? As G.I. Joe reached the Lost City, do they know Cobra's on the way? Slithering snakes alone at times. Copperhead! Copperhead. Scoop's too far away to transmit a clear broadcast. So I don't know if the Joes have located the Lost City or its supply of Dragonfire. Well, you're in command. What do we do? It's the first time I've been in command of a squadron of Annihilators and Night Fighters. I'd hate to blow it by stumbling into a G.I. Joe trap. On the other hand, if the Joes get the Dragonfire because you were too scared to take decisive action, hey. Watch who you're calling scared. I don't even know the meaning of that word. Cobra forces, set course bearings for the lost city. Full speed ahead! Yo, Scoop! How you doing, Junkyard? Sarge wants everyone back at their posts. Our lookouts radioed in a warning. We should be expecting a social call from a bunch of anti-social snakes. Alley Viper should have waited for my signal. The Joes are gonna slam him with everything they've got. Well, what do you know? G.I. Joe is already here. Cobra forces, attack! Ah! 
Following orders. Where do you think you're going, Turkey? It ain't polite to shoot front. So hang around and enjoy the fun. If I hit anyone, I'm in big trouble with Cobra. Huh? Whoa! School, bail me out! Cobra may be furious, but gotta save Mutt. Hey, nice shooting, partner. Thanks for the assist. Anytime. Whoa! It sounds like G.I. Joe and Ali Viper's attack team are knocking each other senseless. Yes, and when I think of how much both G.I. Joe and Cobra have made me suffer, I must say that I don't care which side wins. Now, now, Baroness, we mustn't be bitter. Cobra Command is exactly right. Once we've discovered the dragon fire buried beneath these ruins, We'll be needing those Cobra lackeys in one piece to carry out our orders. Speaking of orders, Naugahyde, I thought I ordered you to get me a new uniform. These skins seem to be attracting the wrong kind of crowd. Nice going, Marauders. We've got those human helicopters and their hyperactive Night Viper buddies on the run. Now all we've got to do is locate the Dragonfire deposit somewhere in the ruins of the Lost City. And you can chalk up a win for G.I. Joe. Ah, when Destro hears what happened, he'll have me washing dishes in the Cobra mess hall for the rest of my life. Cheer up, Alley Viper. Life's a gamble, and the game's not over yet. Alley Viper, this is Undercover Joe. Come in. Come in? Huh. <laughs> Looks to me like I'm on my way out. I know. If you'd been closer, I could have warned you. On the other hand, the Joes haven't found the Dragonfire either, and I videotaped something that may help Cobra find it first. Oh, I may have a career as a Cobra leader yet. Can you patch me into the Cobra Central computer? Viper, connect the satellite uplink. Hmm. Okay, school. I'm accessing the central computer now. Transmit your footage. Okay, we're in. But what is that mess you've sent? I think it's a map to the Dragonfire location but it's in an ancient form of code, which I'm hoping the central computer can figure out. <laughs> you and me both. As long as we're into the central computer. You want me to patch you into your Cobra file? What? You mean I can see the records Cobra's kept on me since I enlisted? Yeah, it's no problem. All except the restricted part. Hang on. I'll keep watching your puzzle on my screen. But I'll let you see your file. Hey, this is great! Leonard Michaels, personal file. Codename Scoop. Current status, Crimson Guardsman. On an undercover mission within G.I. Joe. Current seniority, one year. Recruitment data. Restricted? Hmm. I wonder what's restricted about that. The G.I. Joes blew up my parents' home, and I joined Cobra to get even. Everyone knows that.
access granted. All right. Leonard Michaels is a promising young man, which is why I want you to lie and tell him that G.I. Joe has done this to his parents' house. Destro had the Cobra recruiter lie to me? If Michaels knew the truth, that Cobra blew up his home, he'd never join us. But as long as he believes the Joes did it, we can use his anger as a weapon against G.I. Joe. Cobra destroyed my parents' home? G.I. Joe had nothing to do with it? Sorry to interrupt, Scoop, but we just got the results on your transmission. The central computer broke the code, and it told us everything we need to find the Dragon Fire and drive G.I. Joe into the swamp. Uh, congratulations on doing a great job. A great job for the people who burned down my home and who want to ruin my friends and G.I. Joe? Scoop, what have you done? You may have lied to me, Destro, but I'm not listening anymore. And I'm not gonna need this camera to spy on anyone either, because Scoop is now a G.I. Joe, 100%. Ali Viper, this is Cobra Commander. Forgive the interruption, but I couldn't help overhearing your conversation with your undercover spy. How could you be Cobra Commander? He's a snake, and snakes don't talk. That is another story for another day. What concerns me now is the location of the dragon fire. That, and the fact that I am here inside the lost city. Huh? While you have been driven into the swamp by G.I. Joe, as your only remaining chance of success, I suggest you guide me to the dragon fire now! Sergeant Slaughter! There are Cobra agents inside the Lost City, and I think I know where to find them. Mutt, you're in charge here. Low light, stalker, fall out and follow me. According to the coded instructions, follow any red line in the passageways. This way, guys. Any one of them will lead you to the same place, the head of the dragon. Pull forward on one of its fangs, And enter. I hope we don't have far to go. This bleeding backpack is heavy. Not too much farther. But according to the instructions, if you step on any one of the white squares, you're done for. Whoa! No! Ah! Ouch! You stupid chattering chimp. I should make you carry this, that's what I should do. Look! There it is. There what is? The dragon's head, what else? Oh. <gasps> the dragon's head, what else? How come Scoop knows so much about this place anyway? <laughs> Through there! And don't step on any of the... White squares! Oops. Whoa! Hit the deck! <laughs> huh? Man! Out of here! On the double! Phew, that was a close shave. And there's an even closer one. Dead ahead. Yeah. Everyone up. We've got to jump on the boulder when it swings back. Scoop, have you gone totally nuts? Throw the chatter, low light, and get on board. Yank. Now jump. There should be a staircase this way. Right. So now I can see around corners. Come on, guys. We don't have any time to waste.
Holy Viper, your directions were excellent. Nogahide, activate the sound module immediately. It is time to summon the Dragonfire, and soon its ultimate power will be ours! Thank you for warming things up, Baroness. But I'll take over from here. But, Commander... I said I'll take over from here! Governor, look! The Dragonfire's beginning to rise! Just as the Baroness was able to change me from a snake into this approximation of my former majesty, so shall I transform these furry creatures into loyal soldiers to fight my battles and win my wars! <laughs> Welcome, Sergeant Slaughter. I was hoping you might drop by. I'd know that ugly voice anywhere, Cobra Commander. And it looks like you finally scared up a face ugly enough to match. Eight warriors of Cobra! Attack! <laughs> Get out of here and warn the rest of the Joes while I keep these monkey men under control. But we can't leave the Sarge here. If the Sarge says he's got those monkey men under control, <laughs> he's got them under control. Sarge! The Sarge! Still got everything under control, Sarge? No problem, Stalker! We've got those monkeys right where we want them! As long as you guys keep your big flat feet off of the white squares! Scoop. 
You shouldn't have done that. That camera was your pride and joy. Not anymore. Those monkeys are welcome. Not bad for a bunch of guys who never went to architecture school. <laughs> By the way, Scoop, how is it that you knew exactly where to find both the Dragonfire and Cobra Commander? It's a long story, Lowlight, and I want to tell you, but I'm not sure that now's the time. Hey! Correction, <laughs> Scoop. It's actually a story that's real short. And I just figured out how it ends. What's going on, Low Light? Yeah. We all know that Scoop's the one who led us into Cobra Commander's trap, Sarge. But the reason he knew every inch of the way isn't because he's such a good G.I. Joe. It's because he's the meanest, rottenest thing on this green earth. A low-down Cobra spy. What? <laughs> I don't believe it. Low Light, you finally rigged out but good. Scoop is no more a Cobra spy than... Shut up, stalker! Lowlight just made some mighty serious charges, Scoop. What I want to know is, are they true? Yes, Sergeant Slaughter. I'm afraid they are. <gasps> Sarge, look out. The Cobra creeps are breaking through. Let's get out of here! And Lowlight, don't let the prisoner get away. Let's move it, creep. And don't think your buddies are gonna rescue you today. Because you're one Cobra lowlife whose assets are mine. Cobra! And if you want to know what happens next, you better tune in on this same station to see the next episode of Operation Dragonfire. Here's a taste of the action on the next episode of G.I. Joe! Operation Dragonfire! Cobra now controls the immense natural power called Dragonfire. That Cobra Commander has used it to create an army of ape warriors. Meanwhile, Scoop has learned that Cobra's lied to him. And he's now doing his best to help G.I. Joe for real. But, Lowlight isn't ready to let him off the hook. And now, our story continues. Alright soldiers, keep hustling! Now those Cobra Apes are gonna nail our hide! Mud, foot loose! We're moving out! Come on, traitor! You're not gonna slow us down so your Cobra pals can catch us. That's right, Scoop's a Cobra spy. I was a spy, but that's because Cobra lied and said you guys... Ah. Save it for your court-martial! But deactivate our vehicles! So Cobra can't use them after we're gone! Ah. Ah. Now move it to the conquest chest! On the double! I don't believe it! Cobra Commander and his monkey men have G.I. Joe on the run! Cobra Commander! I can see the bleeding jet fighters that Joe's plan to use to escape! Then you bloody well better make sure their plan fails! You're a bloke after me own hat! Move it, guys! We're almost there! If we shoot down those trees, they'll be trapped! Where are 
out my armies when I need them! <laughs> right here, Cobra Commander. Ready for your command. Bless you, my lads. Now stop, G.I. Joe! Cobra! There they are! Our Conquest Jet Fighters! Correction, Joey! They're mine now! <laughs> Hit the deck! Noga hides enthusiasm, but he does have a tendency to get carried away. <laughs> I haven't had this much fun since I mowed me lawn with a flamethrower. <laughs> oh no, caught like a rat in a trap. And you aren't the only one. Yeah, but who cares what happens to you, you traitor? I do, Scoop. But you've got to tell me the truth. Are you still working for Cobra? No way! Stalker, you don't have to believe me, but I'm a G.I. Joe now, 100%. I've seen you in action, kid, and I do believe you. Unfortunately, though, the only place I can go now is Cobra? They think I'm still on their side. Maybe I can find out how to defeat their dragon fire weapon. Well, if that's what you've decided, good luck. Run for it! That idiot Naga Hyde has gone terribly berserk! Uh, uh, whoa! <clears throat> Come on, Lowlight! Let's go! Well, it's about time. What about that traitor, Scoop? He's still attached to the other side. Scoop got away, Lowlight. That's what he thinks. I'm gonna recapture that Cobra spy. Lowlight! Huh? He's made his choice, just like Scoop made his. Now we've got to get out before that maniac Nogahide drops any more trees on our heads. <laughs> I think I finally lost low light. So now all that's left is home sweet Cobra. Hold it right there, Scoop. And welcome back to Cobra. Alley Viper! I heard you blew your cover and got caught as a Cobra spy. At least now I'm back where the action is. You can say that again. Once Cobra Commander learned how to use the Dragonfire to change animals into Cobra Warriors, he realized he could use it to make mechanical weapons more powerful as well. Now watch this. <gasps> Night Vipers! Hold that python! Steady! Now! What's going on? Just watch! Create the first weapon of my ultra secret strike force! Fused with the stealth, the deviousness, and the striking power of the snake! All of you, bear witness to this historic moment! The birth of Python Patrol! Cobra Commander, I found this in my hovercraft. One of my uniforms! Copperhead, 
This is exactly the resource for this I need in my first commanding officer of the Python Patrol. I am honored, sire. The Cobra Commander! Destro placed me in command of the Hovercraft Force, not Copperhead! Oh, you're a favorite of Destro's, then. Baroness, what do you say to that? Put him in charge of gathering snakes for Python Patrol. Hmm. And you are the resourceful Crimson Guardsman who infiltrated G.I. Joe? He is indeed, Commander. Then remain, please. You are much too valuable to waste on snakes. We have many things to discuss, you and I. Here come X-19! I hope Scoop can survive his reinfiltration into Cobra. Unfortunately, Scoop's biggest problem isn't gonna be Cobra. It's going to be low light. Thanks for the duds, Viper Breath. I'll try not to get him dirty. But once I get my hands on that filthy traitor scoop, that's gonna be tough. My dear Cobra Commander, it's good to see you looking so nearly human once again. Thank you, Destro. It's true. This uniform does enhance my natural attractiveness. But more important than my good looks is the fact that my Python Patrol may be the turning point in our struggle with G.I. Joe. In that case, once you have dealt with Serpentor, I will be more than happy to renew our alliance. Just like the good old days? Before that happens, there is one other requirement, Destro, darling. And that is? You must dump the Rana! Immediately. <laughs> Baroness, consider her dumped. Cobra Commander, Trapento is overhead in the Condor Z-25. Scoop, as you are already familiar with the Conquest Jet Fighters, join Copperhead! And give Sir Pentor a welcome he won't forget. The lost city is aptly named, is it not, Arrow Viper? Lost in the jungles of the Amazon River, and yet, its rich supply of dragon fire will soon assist me to conquer the world! Dream on, huh? Serpentor! Because your fantasy is coming to an end! Who are you? That voice? Familiar sounding, isn't it? Cobra Commander? But you... You are supposed to be a snake! And those planes! They never showed up on my radar! What is going on here? Serpentor, we don't wish to use force, but you must let us escort you to the ground. Copperhead, have you lost your mind? We are now on a shielded frequency, Copperhead. Only you and I can hear what is being said. What's going on? Copperhead, do you read me? There is no reason why you couldn't be promoted to a higher rank, but... Only if you will help me. Take care of your friend Scoop. At which point you and I will deal with Cobra Commander together. I like your offer, Serpentor. 
consider it a date. Copperhead, come in! What are you doing? Copperhead, come in! <gasps> Copperhead, I don't know what's going on, but I'm going after Serpentor. So if you read me, cover my back and take the other half of the condor. Oh, I read you all right, Scoop. Only you've got it wrong. You can go after whomever you want. Because all of us... Huh? ...are coming after you. No! Serpentor and Copperhead are on my tail. No one defies Serpentor! No! Copperhead, get him! Copperhead, can't we talk about this? Sorry, kid. But in Cobra, if your best friend gets in your way, you step on him. It's not a person. In that case, I hope you won't take this personally either. What? Bail out now, Serpentor. You've got five seconds. No one gives orders to Serpentor. Four, three, <laughs> you will suffer for this! Look! It's Serpentor! At last! He is at my mercy! <laughs> Seize him! The first man who touches me will curse the day he was born. But Cobra Commander, you are looking almost human. The last time I saw you, you were still eating flies. By the Cobra's fangs, it's Serpentor. Why, Alley Viper, how good to see you. Thank you, Emperor. The honor is mine. Thank you, Emperor. The honor is mine. Is there no one here who will help rid me of this self-satisfied vermin? Let me make sure I understand, Cobra Commander. You want someone to take care of this piece of reptilian slime? Night Viper, your career in Cobra is finished. Consider yourself under arrest. Deal with Serpentor, Night Viper, and untold riches will be yours. Thanks, Commander, but I'd rather do it just for fun. Python uh, 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 Vipers, strap him to the table! Uh, uh, Start up the Pythonizing Ray immediately! No, you don't know what you're doing! Quite the contrary. I think it is time you had a demonstration of my new Pythonizing technique. So far, I have been fusing snakes with vehicles. But to join you to either would be a waste of both. So instead, I will join you with Norgahide's pet iguana. No, you wouldn't dare. And though the change will be temporary, I can assure you that even when you change back into human form, You'll never lose your taste for flies. No! Too late, Serpenta! The process has already begun! Bravissimo! And so handsome! You have been watching, Destro? I have indeed. Young man, you have done a noble service for Cobra today. Unlike this toadying excuse for an alley viper! Night Viper, I'll get you for this. Hey, Serpentor! What do you say we throw another iguana on the barbie? I hear they're just delicious. 
But now it is time to turn our thoughts towards G.I. Joe and our attack on Sorcerer's Mesa, the final and most powerful dragon fire repository of them all! So glad your air battle with Serpentor had only temporary ill effects. I didn't tell him a thing. He doesn't know you tried to betray him. So you're still in charge of Python Patrol. And you are like no Cobra recruit I've ever met. If you'd thinked on me, you could be in charge of Python Patrol. Let's just say you owe me one. Scoop! As the final Dragonfire site is in G.I. Joe's home territory, I was hoping you could give us the inside information we need to make our attack a crushing success. Final Dragonfire site? If that traitor Scoop is spilling all our secrets to Cobra Commander... I'd better get in touch with Sarge on the double. Joe Base Charlie Delta, come in. Joe Base Charlie Delta, come in. Huh? So there you are, Night Viper. Oh, no. It's time to settle our accounts. <sighs> Let me guess. You're still upset about what happened to Serpentor. Serpentor liked me. But he's not going to be able to help my career much now that you've helped turn him into a lizard. And even worse than that, you made me look bad in front of Cobra Commander, our new leader. <sighs> You're not gonna have another chance to make me look bad ever again. Whoa! <clears throat> Just be thankful I'm letting you off easy. I could have waited until we were 30,000 feet high. Yeah, but by then I would have warned Sergeant Slaughter and the guys. This way, Cobra can sneak right up on my buddies. And if they capture that last Dragonfire base, you can kiss the free world goodbye. Operation Dragonfire will continue. So don't miss the final episode on this station. My name's Scoop. Ever since I realized the true evil of Cobra, I've been working for G.I. Joe. Unfortunately, Cobra Commander and Destro already control three Dragonfire bases, and now they're going after number four and total victory. I'm going to do my best to see that they fail. But Lowlight thinks I'm a Cobra spy, which means I've got enemies on all sides, as I'm trying to discover the final secret of Dragonfire to save G.I. Joe. And now the final episode of Operation Dragonfire begins. Welcome to Sorcerer's Mesa, Sergeant Slaughter. It is the last of the Dragonfire sites that Cobra wants to capture. And if the legends of my ancestors are true, the most powerful. My eagle freedom seeks an elder who remembers how to invoke the power. Well, I hope freedom can find him fast. Unless we get a Dragonfire shield up to protect the Mesa, Cobra's gonna turn this place into dust! Once we have captured the final Dragonfire site, we will be able to link our other Dragonfire bases together with this! The last and most powerful Dragonfire source of them all! Scoop, you know Joe Headquarters from the inside. What can you tell us about Sergeant Slaughter's plan to defend Sorcerer's Mesa? Uh, Sergeant Slaughter is hoping you will head for the Mesa directly. So his attack, launched from Joe Base Charlie Delta, will take you completely by surprise. And your advice? Turn the tables on G.I. Joe. 
and attack Charlie Delta first. Then that is exactly what we shall do. My luck must be changing. Fell for it. Listen up, Joes! We know a Cobra is going after the Mesa, but before they can get there, we're gonna hit them with a surprise attack. I'm hopeful we'll slow them down. And buy spirit enough time to get the Dragonfire shield in place? That's my idea. I just hope it works. What in the blue blazes? Here I am, low light, a card carrying G.I. Joe. And not only do I have to disguise myself as a low light Cobra clown, but I gotta use one of their flying packs. It's probably gonna break when I'm a thousand feet high. Ah, what the heck. With Scoop blabbing our secrets to Cobra, we don't have much of a chance anyway. I just hope I get a last crack at that traitor before we all go down to a humiliating defeat. Python Patrol, follow me! The Joes won't be expecting us, and our Pythonized vehicles won't show up on their radar. But even though the odds are stacked in our favor, showing mercy would be a mistake! Sergeant Slaughter, come in! Sarge, please come in! Scoop? What's going on? Cobra's on the way to attack Joe Base Charlie Delta. Good! This makes your spirit's friend! Time to activate the Dragon Fire and save the free world from a terrible defeat! And Scoop, until you're out of that pit of vipers, be careful! Hey, Scoop! <gasps> that was Sergeant Slaughter on the screen. And if I didn't know better, I'd say you were selling us out to the Joes! You and I used to be friends, Alley Viper. <laughs> there are no friendships in Cobra. It's every snake for himself. In G.I. Joe, it's different. People try to help people, not destroy them. Come on, aren't you listening? Don't you think one real friend is worth more than all the empty power Cobra gives? Actually, I think this is going to be worth a promotion when I turn you in as a rotten, stinking spy. <laughs> 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 That's what I was afraid you'd say. <clears throat> hmm. I think this is the best place for you just now. You won't get away with it. Maybe not, but at least I will have tried to do the right thing. Here comes Cobra! And get a load of this! Nothing showing up on the radar! Yeah, lucky thing they're attacking an empty base. All right, Joes, here they come. So let's let them know who we are. And no matter what happens, stay between those snakes at Sorcerer's Mesa. Yo, Joe! Cobra! Sarge, we are ready to tap into the Dragonfire. Get to the Mesa immediately. Commander, the Joes seem more concerned with keeping us away from the Mesa than defending their base. Do not be concerned! My backup team is already on the way to cut them off!
Hey, Sarge, don't look now, but you're about to be cut off. And if you're on the wrong side of the Dragonfire shield when it goes up... Yeah, I know. We'll be locked out. Go Rah! The others are here to help you, but we can wait no longer. The chanting must begin. It's working. Lady J, start the recording loop and amplify it. Synthesizers will take over from here. I only wish we knew how to program them to make the dragon fire fight back. This is an outrage! We should have attacked the Mesa first! Calm yourself, Commander. Sorcerer's Mesa will still be ours. And this temporary setback will give us the chance to test the capacities of our newest weapon. First, I must lock our satellite, Dragon Star 1, in on our target. There, all is ready. Himalayan Dragonfire Base. Prepare to channel all your power to Dragon Star 1. European Dragonfire Base. South American Dragonfire Base. Stand by. Stand by! And now, prepare to... FIRE! Sorcerer's Mesa is even more powerful than our Dragonfire Lance. I must shut down our weapon before we destroy it. Himalayas, Europe, South America, cease firing! We beat the snakes off! Their Dragonfire is fading out! Oh, what a pity. I was so enjoying the show. Please, Commander. There is no need for despair. I have yet another plan. Which will combine the best features of both Python Patrol and Dragonfire. Let me out of here! Let me out! Once we have harnessed the combined might of our Dragonfire bases to the vehicles of Python Patrol, we may still be unable to shatter the Dragonfire shield. However, the Mesa itself is unprotected. <laughs> Which means we can blast our way up to the Joes from beneath! Not if I can help it. Copperhead, what frequency are you using to transmit the Dragonfire to Python Patrol? There, that's it. 
but what's it to you, Scoop? No reason. I just love to see the flashing numbers on the screen. Huh. Looks like I'm too late to help save Charlie Delta from the snakes. But there's still plenty of time to take care of the little traitor who lost it for us. Python Patrol, prepare to receive a destructive power born from the center of the Earth. Channel through outer space. I'm brought to you by the magic of Cobra technology. And now, everyone, I give you the Dragonfire edition of... Python Patrol! What is Cobra throwing at us now? It doesn't matter. As long as they are not wearing kachinas attuned to the exact frequency of our force shield. Even though they may be powered by dragon fire themselves, they cannot get through. Yeah, but if they destroy the Mesa off from under us, they won't need to bother. Back blast! Downtown! Get out here! Get some armadillos and leashes out here as well! we can attack Cobra is if we can attune our own dragon fire to the exact frequency of the Cobra transmissions. Which is information that only Cobra knows. I fear we are lost. Destro, it is working! Soon Sorcerer's Mesa will be rubble! And we will be the sole possessors of every source of dragon fire on Earth! You, Python Televiper. Cobra Commander wants to switch the frequency of the Dragonfire to ultimate attack mode. That's what I need. Sorry, change in plans. Cobra won't be attacking anymore. Ugh. <gasps> I'm coming. Quickly. Gotta send this info to Sergeant Slaughter. Hope I'm in time to stop that traitor scoop before he does any more damage. Sorcerer's Mesa, come in! Sorcerer's Mesa, come in! Scoop, your spying days are done. Sorry, pal, but no one's going to stop me now. Let us out! That traitor scoop has us trapped inside! Not for long. Hey, wait a minute. If the snakes are trying to stop you, then you can't be one of them, can you? Low light! Of course I'm not one of them. Then what are you doing here? Helping G.I. Joe the best I can. That is, until you went and let loose the one snake who can ruin it all. Well, I hope you'll accept my apologies. Now get back to work. <sighs> And let me take care of our reptilian friends. Sergeant Slaughter, Spirit, I have the information we need to neutralize Cobra's Dragonfire attack. Now, if you'll excuse me. 
I've got to help out a friend. Cobra Commander, we have blasted a tunnel that will give us access to the Mesa Dragonfire. In that case, victory is ours! Have you recalibrated that Cobra information for our resonators? I'm all set, Sarge. Then let's sock the tool! One more volley, and the dragon fire will be ours! Our dragon fire, which means we're on our own. Not quite, Snake Breath. Hey guys, what do you say we help these troublemakers to clear off of our turf? Yo, Yo <laughs> You'll be sorry you did this, Scoop. Cobra has a long memory, and somewhere, somehow, we'll make you pay. G.I. Joe has a pretty good memory, too, Alley Viper. And if I ever see you skulking around again, you'll have a lot more than your shield flying after your sorry behind. Scoop, I'm sorry I didn't believe you before, but let me tell you, you're gonna make one heck of a G.I. Joe, and I'd be proud to call you my friend. You mean that? Yo, Joe. All right, Joes! It's time to turn the rest of those snakes out into the cold! And I'm talking about all over the world! And you know, once Cobra lost the use of their dragon fire weapon, they just weren't any match for my pals in G.I. Joe. Which isn't to say that Cobra won't be coming back. But if they do try something new, Slaughter's Marauders and the rest of G.I. Joe will be ready for them. Including yours truly, Scoop. All right, everyone! Let's give one for the road! Yo, Joe! Joe!